What are the best fish for aquaponics? First, you will need to consider these factors. Environmental conditions. Your location, is it hot, cold or tropical? Choose a fish that suits these conditions. If you are in a cold location, perhaps you will need heating. Feed sources. What food do you have access to for feeding your fish? Will you grow duckweed? Will you breed black soldier fly larvae? Purpose. Are you wanting fish to eat or just for producing waste to feed your plants? Size. How big will your fish tank be and how many fish will you stock? Is it a small desktop system or a big system? That would be great for delicious Murray cod. Is it legal? The fish you want could be classified as an invasive species. So remember to check with your local fishery department. First, let's look at edible fish for aquaponics. Tilapia. Cichlid fall under the tilapia species of fish and are a hardy fish found in freshwater shallow streams, ponds and rivers. Cichlids are a nutritious fish that is high in protein. Tilapia species of fish can survive in a temperature of around 11 to 17 degrees Celsius, 52 to 62 degrees Fahrenheit. In the wild, cichlids are mostly omnivores. However, you can feed your cichlids live or frozen animal food, such as shrimp and bloodworms. An easy source of food would be sinking pellets or flake fish food, which are rich in protein and fiber. You can, occasionally, feed your tilapia type fish green foods like spinach. Catfish. Catfish are also suitable for aquaponics. Their colors and shapes vary and can be very pretty as an ornamental fish. They are particularly great at cleaning the tank walls and substrate. They will, in turn, keep the algae under control and will recycle food and waste from other fish. Catfish are also hardy fish and are not prone to disease or illness, but can get stressed if threatened by larger fish. So just be aware of who you put in the tank with them. As they are bottom feeders or benthic, catfish will need to be fed food that sinks like sinking pellets or a heavier type of frozen fish food. In addition, they like to feed at night once the aquarium lights are out. So remember that for your feeding schedule. As for preferred water temperature, anywhere between 20 and 24 degrees Celsius, 68 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit is good. A few varieties to consider are zebra pleco, cori, bristlenose catfish and clown catfish. Next, silver perch. As silver perch can grow to a relatively large size of around 8 kilograms or 600 millimeters in length, you will need to consider the size of your tank. The preferred temperature for silver perch outside of spawning season is between 18 to 23 degrees Celsius, 73 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. As far as eating goes, they love green plants, so some spinach, duckweed or azolla will do nicely. Jade Perch while similar looking to the silver perch in shape, it has a greenish hue to its upper region, hence their name. They prefer warmer water, although cooler than their cousins, the silver perch. Favorable temperatures would be about 20 to 28 degrees Celsius, 68 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. They too like an omnivorous diet and can be seen eating any green variety of plant or fish food low in animal protein. Murray Cod. Murray codfish are reasonably new to the aquaponics lifestyle and in fact new to tank culture. They need space and are a quick growing fish, so take that into account when setting up your aquarium. They need to be fed often or they may just start eating each other. They are a carnivorous fish, obviously, so be aware not to put them in a tank with smaller fish. Even if the species is Murray cod, they will eat them. A diet rich in protein and phosphorus is good, so be sure to check your fish food labels. Ideal temperature, as they are originally a river fish, would be around 8 to 24 degrees Celsius, 46 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, so they can handle quite a cold tank. On a side note, they're a really popular fish to catch from the rivers in my hometown and are absolutely delicious. Barramundi. These fish are very popular in aquaponic systems and are often grown in the warmer months and with slightly mature stock. If you intend to eat your barramundi, you will find they have a lovely, clean, crisp taste. As a tank fish, they will still love to eat fish and crustaceans, so a diet rich in frozen fish, shrimp or prawns will go down very nicely. They do well in warmer temperatures, so make sure the water is around 26 to 30 degrees Celsius, 78 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Trout. Besides being a great tasting fish, trout have a very quick growth rate as well as food conversion ratio, meaning they convert their digested food to fertilizer very fast. They prefer a cooler temperature between 10 to 20 degrees Celsius, 52 to 62 degrees Fahrenheit, and originally a river fish. 
They like to eat aquatic and terrestrial insects as well as other fish, leeches, crustaceans and worms. For commercial food, you could try frozen bloodworm and dried shrimp. Bluegill Bluegills are probably one of the most unfussy fish. They will eat pretty much anything, but that doesn't mean you must feed them just anything. Stick to a diet of insects, zooplankton, small fish and worms. Frozen bloodworms are good as well as any flank or pellet type of fish food. In terms of a preferable temperature for the tanks, water can range anywhere between 16 to 27 degrees Celsius, 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. If you are not wanting to eat your fish, check out these ornamentals that are great for aquaponics. Ornamental aquaponics fish. Goldfish. Your hardiest and by far most popular pet fishes but also a great option for aquaponics. They have longevity and come in a variety of breeds and colours. Goldfish will survive just nicely on flake fish food and prefer a temperature of around 10 to 23 degrees Celsius, 50 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. If you intend to breed them, you will need to consider some plant cover. They are shy like that. Koi, our beautiful bevy of fish species and are in fact from the carp family of fish. Predominantly found in Asian communities, these picturesque fish are best grown in larger ornamental type tanks or aquariums. Due to their lovely variety of colours, you want to ensure the food you feed them is high in beta carotene, which will enhance and help keep their natural colours. Huge omnivores, you can feed your fish lettuce, watermelon and peas, but it is best to rather do this using specific koi fish food, as this has been accurately measured out for the best nutritional balance. Happy in a slightly warmer environment, you can ensure water temperature is between 15 to 25 degrees Celsius, 59 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Siamese fighting fish, better. These fish are just stunning. With their goldfish style bodies but flowing fins and tails, they are just beauties to watch. They have a very particular diet as well in that they like live brine shrimp and bloodworm, although frozen will do too. In addition, you can make their main source of food, for sake of ease, Siamese fighting fish granules or pellets. They should be fed one to two times daily and in small quantities as they have a tendency to overeat. Being a tropical fish, you need to keep the water temperature at a warm 25 to 26 degrees Celsius, 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Warning, as they are fighting fish, you cannot put more than one better or fighting fish in the tank at a time. They will fight each other to the death. Suggestion is to either go with a variety of female betters, but no less than four. Ensure your tank size is ideal. Other ornamental fish worth having a look at are guppies and white cloud mountain minnows. Practically any freshwater fish you can find at your aquarium store will be suited for aquaponics.